Hello students, today I am going to talk about a very important topic on a space sustainability. So I just want to tell you that this question has a high probability to be asked in internal security. So what is the context of the discussion of today's video is recently fourth summit has been hosted by UK in collaboration with Secure World Foundation on space sustainability. So in this context, we will see that what is the meaning of space sustainability and why do we need to talk about the space sustainability. And then we will see that what has been the approach of India towards the use of a space. And then we will also see the global efforts in using the space by maximizing its utility, but balancing the use so that it should be used in a sustainable and inclusive manner. So just as the term sustainability, we understand that we should not compromise the needs of future, the needs of future generation for the want of current generation. This is the basic meaning of the word sustainability. So if you will try to understand the word space sustainability, it simply means that we should not use the space in the sense that we are compromising the needs of the future generation. And whenever we talk about the space sustainability, I will say that it means that we will have to use the space optimally. So optimal utilization of a space, but this utilization should be peaceful and we should take all the steps to check any kind of harm which can be caused to the space. This is the meaning of a space sustainability. But the question arises that why we are talking about the space sustainability. So, if you will see or if you know the concept of a space weaponization, from where I feel that the question can be asked directly from the meaning of a space weaponization. So, I just want to mention here that the space weaponization was started by a star war program of US, of US. So, a space weaponization means two things. First is a space control and the second is a space force application, a space force application. A space control means you are controlling the orbits in the space for your use or for the use of the friendly countries and a space force application means you are hitting the terrestrial target you are hitting the terrestrial target by using the satellite or by using the weapons which has been placed in a space. And this is the reason that we are talking about that we should use a space judicially or in a sustainable manner. But this is one part of the story. Now, if the question comes in 10 markers or 15 markers, then you should talk about the other issues related to the space that is the space debris space debris then you can talk about the geographic events or geographic effect that is the rise of solar and magnetic storm because of the collision of satellites in the space or because of the use of satellites or use of the space in unregulated manner like what we are doing to our mother nature. Then another problem you can talk about here is orbital crowding. Orbits in the space will be crowded and this may also happen that there can be a monopoly of some of the great powers on the orbits mentioned in the space. So these are the problems because of which we are talking about the use of a space in sustainable manner. 
now we will see that what is the india's approach so the india's approach if you want to understand then india is a signatory to outer space treaty and india is abiding by the provisions of outer space treaty along with this india is supporting the voluntary agreement of un that is un committee on peaceful use of space on peaceful use of space along with this india has supported the un resolution number 69 oblique 32 that talks about no first placement of weapons no first placement of weapons in a space along with this india is supporting the paros convention that is prevention of arms race prevention of arms race in outer space along with this there is a draft space activities bill because we know that today along with the government organization like isro there are private organization who has entered into the space so to regulate their so you can say to regulate that how they should use the space we have this particular bill where government is providing them training government is giving them license to the commercial players in the and basically they are regulating in the way that they should use the space along with this isro had just devised a device called as netra to monitor the space debris then another thing which you can mention here that again isro came with a docking experiment called spadex and because of this they can refuel the satellites in the space itself so these are the basically approach of the india's towards the use of the space because it has been observed by india that everybody is talking about the safe and the peaceful use of space but what we have seen that china russia and usa has already occupied the space to a large extent and in this context india has launched mission sakti so you can say Sir, Mission Sakti shows that India's action is contrary to its approach. So now you will have to understand that India is telling that we will be no first placement of weapons. We will not be the first actor who will place the weapons in the space. So already the weapons have been placed by three major players. If you will see China, that a long spacecraft, a long spacecraft is already in the space us us is developing a new technology called mahem that is based on the electromagnetic principles to hit the missile from the space so each and every player who is known that they are driving the entire geopolitics of the world if they are present in a space then why not india should be in a space so it is not contrary we have said that we will not not be the first one to use we are not the first one to use okay so this is the approach of government of india now we will see what is the approach at the global effort so at the level of global effort uk has a guidelines that is collectively called astrocarta and under this they are funding for debris removal they are funding for debris removal in their space along with this they are working with the international organization like gs7 and un they are also looking into the regulatory framework that whether this framework needs a renewal or not so this is the global effort along with this whatever i was discussing with you 
about the UN Committee on Peaceful Use of Outer Space, you can mention here as a global effort for the space sustainability. So, this question can be asked on 10 marker or it can be asked in 15 marker also. I do not know whether the UPSC will ask this question or not, but just based on my understanding, I am telling that this question can be the probable one in the mains 2022. And whatever I have discussed with you, that is more than enough to write any answer. And all the videos which you are getting, the PDF for all the discussions you will get on 28th of August. So, till then I am covering each and everything which I think important and I will release the PDF on our platform that is IS360. So, thanks to all of you.